Okay, so this is our um, seven day fast start program for online selling. So for anyone that's just joined us and they want to get off to a really fast start and hit the ground running when they join, this is kind of some tips and some steps to follow to get you there with the online side. So what we're going to be going through today is first of all we're going to give you some targets of what we believe is going to keep you on track so that you're going to get off to the best part to start. Um, an action plan, so we've got to go through things daily of what we feel we need to keep doing each day, keep you on track for that for them target. And then some top tips of what we picked up along the way whilst we've also been selling online ourselves. So first things first is our targets. Well, the first target that you really need to set yourself is to get £150 worth of sales in your first seven days. Okay, so this is something that we really need to aim for to make sure that we're getting off to a good start. Now, that's going to get you your first lot of welcome rewards, okay, which is uh, either 50 catalogues or some dropship credits, which is free delivery. Now, it's entirely up to you which one you choose, but the catalogues will earn you more money, regardless of whether you're going out door to door cataloging or whether you're just going to give them to friends and family or customers that buy. They're going to help you get more sales. The next um, target that you want to have really is to aim for three to five hundred plus group members in your selling group. Okay, now the reason why we have a bit of a, a very on scale is you're going to get some people who come in and they've not really got any friends on Facebook or you know, they're new to Facebook, they're new to the country and they, they haven't got a big friends list. So we're going to give them a target of about 300 um, and we've got some tips to how you're going to find them people. But if you have got friends, you know, and you've got lots of people on your group, on your Facebook, then you really need to be aiming for 500 as a minimum. Okay, so that's why we say 500 plus. You want to just be adding everyone to your group and not being pre-judging anyone. So all your friends, all your family, everyone on your friends list needs to go into that group. And um, like I say, some people will leave. Some people don't want to be in there, and that's okay, but you're never going to know which ones they are until you've added them. So it's important to get them in because we never know who is going to want to buy from us, who is going to want to help us out, and who is going to want to join our team. Okay, so it's really important to get them in there. Another target that you need to have is you need to make sure you've got at least 20 people in your first week physically looking through your five catalogs that you get. So you're going to get them in and out, in and out. So you need 20 people that you're going to give them to. You also need to make sure that 40 people have viewed your online catalog link you've had them sent out. Okay, this is all going to help you generate more sales and this is going to get you off to a fast start. The next target that you have as well is that you need to be in a minimum of 70 by yourself by the end of the first week. Okay, so we have a system that we join 10 a day, so you need to make sure you're keeping that up and then you're on track by being that many at the end of the first week. So your action plan. So we're going to go through now what we're going to do on a regular daily basis to make sure that you kind of keep on, on track with these targets. So first things first, day one, you've got your group set up, okay? So either you've done that or your sponsor's done that, but your group has been created, and you're gonna make sure you fill that with 20 products, okay? Um, you need to have one interaction post also in that group. Now, interaction posts are really important because they are what keep people viewing for your group. You see, Facebook have like a, like a ranking of, of popular and unpopular groups and what they think people want to see in their news feeds. And if nobody's commented on your group, then Facebook will simply come to the conclusion that no one wants to see what's in your group. So an interaction post helps there, and it's things like, you know, like games, quizzes, puzzles, you know, all these type of things. You find these pictures on, picture picks for your group where you can go in and use them. Okay? Now, what you need to do also is you need to make sure that you update your Facebook status with some a bit of an exciting update. So something along the lines of, I'm so excited to have, have started my new online venture, what's this space? Okay, that's the type of thing that's going to create curiosity, it's going to get people asking you, what is it that you're doing? You know, can we have a little look, can we join, can we see? So do that to create that, okay? As I've already said before, add all your friends. Now, some people um, have said to me that they've been like limited to how many people they can add in one go. So other people have said to me, no, I've not had a problem with adding everyone. So just see how you go with that. Maybe start off adding like 
50 people and, and keep going back and forth. But don't prejudge, just get everybody added to your group. Like I said before, anyone that doesn't want to be there will just leave. Okay. Um, so don't worry over that. Just keep um, adding everyone, anyone, and don't prejudge. Now, we want to send out 10 help messages. Okay. Now, I've got an example of this help message at the end of this. So I'll go through that then. We're going to send out 10 help messages to 10 friends. We're also going to join 10 buying selling sites. Now, I recommend that you start off local because your sales, you'll definitely get more sales when you can offer. Um, you know, a delivery service or a pickup service. So if, you're, if these, these people are local to you, the better. So I would suggest that you start off that way. So join 10 local buying and selling sites, okay? And watch all the welcome videos, any posts that you've been sponsored, guided to, any information that you've been given. Go and take all that in today, okay? So this is day one. Now this won't take up a lot of time, okay? This is something that that can be done, in, you know, in, in spare time for people. So. But well, this is day one, okay, of what we feel you need to be doing as a minimum to keep you on track. Day two, okay, so you're going to post two products in the 10 groups that you've joined. So you've joined 10 yesterday, hopefully you've been approved to all of them now, and you're going to post two products, so that's 20 adverts throughout the day. Now you're going to spread these out, they're not all going to be in one go, okay, so some in the morning, maybe some at tea time, some at the evening. You're then going to join your 10 buying and selling groups again, okay, 10 a day every day is what we teach. Post an interaction post into your group, okay, so make sure you're keeping that going, along with three to five a day pictures in your own group, so products that you're selling, okay. So if we can do, say, five a day and keep going, you know, this is something that we need to do, and as regards to interaction posts, I would recommend you going through your group and at least every 10 products as a minimum. At least every 10 products there should be an interaction post in there as well. Okay, so we can just keep going back over that. We can always check upon ourselves to check that we're, that we're doing right and that our group's staying interactive. Go back over. I've, every 10, every 10 I've, I've got an interaction post. Okay. Today you're going to send out 15 help messages. Okay, you're going to get these out to 15 friends. Um, Sense and just copy and paste a simple message. One thing I'll say though, when we're copying and pasting is always change it slightly. So, obviously, a personalized message with their name, and that's going to change the feature so it's not like a, a complete copy and paste. The next thing I want to say is contact your sponsor, okay? And um, stay in touch. We can't help you if you don't if you don't come to us. You know, we have lots of people on our teams, and, and we are always there to help and guide and support people that are willing to learn and to listen to take that on board. So please come contact us daily and we will be there to help you on a regular basis. Now, another thing I'm going to ask you to do on this day is to put a recruiting post in your group. Now, even if you are not wanting to team build, okay, that, that this is something that I think that every group should just have as a standard. And the reason for this is I've seen so many people join up, set the groups up, start selling the products, do really well, but the friends can see they're doing really well. People in the group can see they're doing really well and they think, I want to do this, but you know, you're brand new, surely you can't tell me how to join or you can't recruit me. I'll go and find a more uh, someone who's been a bit longer and they can sign me up. And they've lost them. Okay? This, I've seen this happen all the time with close friends and everything. So you need to make sure and put it out there that look. If you want to sell this stuff as well, contact me, okay? And then you come to your sponsor and they will support them and help them and guide them and help you with everything. So you don't have to worry about that, but I'm sure you'd rather them be in your team than go and be in somebody else's team to earn you money, okay? So day three, right? Again, you need to be joining your 10 by yourself sites, 10 a day, every day. You need to be posting your three to five products daily in your group. You need to post an interaction post. You need to message another 15 help messages today, okay? Why not now run a competition in your group? Now, competitions, there's lots of ways of running competitions, but to run a competition, you're going to get, one, you're going to create some fun and a bit of excitement going on in your group. This could then get, generate you lots of extra sales, and it's also going to get you people in your group. So when we spoke about adding lots of people to our group, this is a great way to do that. 
Okay, so some examples of competitions is um, add 10 people to, the, to this group and you'll get a ticket in the draw. Okay, now you can have whatever you like as a prize. Ideally, you want something that everyone's going to kind of go for. Okay, so you could maybe use a product if you want to use one of our products. I'm sure you've all got something at home, maybe an unused Christmas gift that you've not opened yet, you know, something like that that you could use. Um, something that's always worked really well personally for me, some scratch cards. You know, I've literally gone and spent five pounds on five scratch cards, put, took a picture and said the winner gets these. You know, money is quite appealing to people. So why not do something like that? But keep a running commentary on this. So, you know, if somebody invites 10 people to your group, tag them, you know, congratulate them and say you've gone and got yourself one ticket in the draw. Then you might go and add another 10 and then you could say, wow, you've got two tickets in the draw. This encourages other people to do the same. You know, I've seen so many times people just want to win the more people have got that they've added to the group. Okay, so all this, it really helps as long as you keep commentating on this and keep it going. Okay, so why not do that today on day three? So, you're also going to post your 20 ads into your buying and selling sites. And what I would now recommend is five of these adverts being an advert for your group. So if you're going to post 20 adverts, you've got 15 with your products. Now you've got five that are advertising your group, but don't advertise the group link. Okay, because your link can go, can go like a spam, you go viral and you can't use it again. So just put the name of your group, maybe even a screenshot of what your group looks like. Maybe hashtag your group um, so people can find it easy. And, you know, work things work like who would like to join a group full of garden work, homework, bedding, um, towel, luxury, um, household items, all of that type of stuff. That type of advert. So have five of them in the as well. Again, get in touch with your sponsor again today. Nobody will ever see you as being anyone that mithers them or that they're stupid. They want you to be contacting them all the time because then they know that you're working with them and they're happy to show even more attention your way because you're someone that's eager to learn. So contact the sponsor again today. Now today on day three, depending on when you've joined, because it's the weekend, we know there's a delay on delivery. But if your catalogues have come today, okay, make sure you get them out. Now you need to have had a list, 20 people that we said in the first, you know, on day one, like a list of the first 20 people you're going to give these catalogues to. So your first five, get them to them. Tell them you're going to pick them up tomorrow. Here's a catalogue with an order form. If there's anything you want, I will be back tomorrow. Don't worry. If you don't want anything, I'll still come back tomorrow. And you get the book back. Day four. Okay. Join 10 buying and selling sites. 10 a day every day. Okay. Post in 20 buying and selling sites. Five, advertising your group again. Do an update on your competition. So let's go back to that competition. Even if nobody commented on it, okay? This is where we then need to go on and comment ourselves. Come on, guys, you've got to be in it to win it. You can get loads of little, little captions. You can get gifts and things you can put on there. Keep that interactive. Post an interaction, post into your group again today. So even if that's a good morning post or a good evening, just get something in there that's not just selling. Post your three to five products in your group today. And again, get in touch with your sponsor, okay? So keep this up, keep this as a daily thing. Now get back your first a lot of catalogs that you've put out and get them back out to your next five, okay? So go through your list, who's next, get them out to them. Day five, join 10 selling groups, 10 a day every day, okay? So post in 20 buying selling groups, again, five of which are advertising your group. Now what you're gonna find here now, you're gonna start finding people wanting to come and join your group. Not going to be instant, you're not going to put an advert on and everyone's going to have to join it. It's the consistency, okay? You're going to start, people are going to start seeing your advert from days ago as well. All right? So keep that going. Again, post your three to five products a day in your group. Update your status with a new exciting post. So why not put on there how much you're enjoying what you're doing, how simple it is? I mean, come on, guys, you can see after them going through here, it's quite repetitive, it's the same type of stuff, it's very simple. Okay, this is something that can generate you a lot of money and it's quite simple what we're teaching people to do. So get across how exciting that is, okay? Again, interaction posts in your group, 
keep your competition interactive again. Contact your sponsor again. Come on, keep in touch. Get them catalogued in and out. And why not now? After you've got a few days going in the business, so why not have a customer review post? Now, even if you've not obviously placed any orders yet, had any had anything come, had any customer reviews, we have got a customer review post in picks for you where other people have shared their customer reviews. So why not do that? Why not say, have you seen these customer reviews on this particular product? Okay, so why not get that going now and get more people looking on that? Day six, you're in 10 selling groups a day, 10 a day every day. Post 25 ads, five of them advertising your group again. Let's keep that momentum going. Post your interaction post, keep the competition interactive again, get your catalogs back in, back out, and again, contact your sponsor. Okay? Day seven, three to five products in your group every day, join 10 selling sites every day, post 30. Oh, that's in there. Post 30 in your group and five advertising in your group. Okay, so you're up in your group a little bit here. You're up in them there and you're gonna have you're gonna have 30 posts in your group and you're gonna have five advertising in your group. You're gonna collect your catalogues in and out, you're gonna have your interaction posts, and you're gonna look now at your competition and see when it's ending. Okay, so you're gonna have um you might have give a time frame on it or you might not, you might decide to extend that if not many people have joined in. But have a little look at that. Why not as well now run a poll in your group? Okay, so find out what it is people want, what it is that you've been advertising that they want to see more of, what they like, what they're not like. And again, be in contact with your sponsor. Okay, this is this is really, really important um, to, to stay in contact and find how things are going. So we've got some top tips, and now these are things that we've picked up along the way that we found was really helpful. And the first one is when people are commenting, okay, or liking on any of your particular posts, make sure that they're at the top of your group. Now, if you've asked the people, um, which I'm going to show in the welcome message, but in the help message, it's asking people to like and comment on your stuff. So if you're following that, then people should be liking and commenting. Just make sure that when someone clicks on your group for the first time, at least the first five products that they can see have all got comments and likes on them. Because otherwise, they won't, may not scroll down any further than that. You may only look at them five and think, no one's interested in this group and they can click off. You'd be surprised how people are, are swayed by other people's views. If someone else wants it, they want it. If someone else likes it, they like it. If they don't like it, then they won't like it. So make sure that you're creating that environment where other people are wanting to join in because you can see other people have liked it as well okay use real life pictures now again if you've not got any products yet we have a picture group where we share all our real life pictures use them guys okay now there's lots of reasons why we say to use them but for one especially if you're posting in a buying and selling site if people see you posting a picture that looks like it's a product from home they are more likely to say, I'll have that, because they think you only have one. If they think you're a business, they can think, oh, I'll order one next week. Or if they want it and they think you've only got that one, they're more likely to say, yes, I'll have it. You know, we've found that the real life pictures just seem to work so much better. So, you know, do use that, okay? Create a need and a want, okay? So sometimes people don't realize that they actually need a product or want a product, but you'd be surprised how you can make them you know obviously you know force people to buy here but what i mean is you can create a need that they didn't even know like i always use the the buffet server as an example i don't do buffets as such i wouldn't think that i would need a buffet server but you know i like if we done it as an advert like on christmas day how much easier would this network make life when i can keep all my veg warm while it's cooking for everybody then suddenly that's created a need because i'll think yeah i need that so I want one, yeah. Okay, so it's kind of do it, looking through the things and see if you can create a need. Get excited about your new adventure and make sure it's short. Okay, so like I say about updating your status and things, try and do it as much as you possibly can, even in your group. You know, get the best groups I see are the ones that that I like. This is they're really speaking to real people. They're really keeping them active. They're really keeping them going and talking. Um, do that and it, it comes across, you need to show them. 
be consistent, okay? So do do this every single day. There's people that will come in and, you know, they don't actually even do the stuff and then say that it didn't work. So be consistent, keep this going and it will work. Don't post multiple pictures at once, okay? Now, this is important because um, the picture will never stand out. So when people are attempting to post an album, or if we say to them, put 20 pictures in your group and it's all in one go, it's really not going to work. Each picture needs to stand out on its own, otherwise it's not seen. You see, the thing with Facebook selling is most people buy because they're scrolling through the news feeds and something suddenly jumps out to them and they think, oh, I like that. Whereas if, you, if you've got a load of pictures and it doesn't have that same impact, it won't jump out and shut. So it's got to be posted on their own. And the best time to post is any time of day. People buy it any time of day. But for me personally, I found the early morning and any time after 8 o'clock at night does really well. Okay. And why not try going live in your group? You know, I think personalizing your group by going live really does help and it helps people um stay and they want to find one you feel like you know you feel like you've got a connection with you and you know what if you're a little bit shy and you don't really want to show your face on there then go live but of your products you know demonstrate your products on delivery day when your orders come why not open the box live on facebook okay things like that it really really works so i hope that this this helps you to get off to a fast start i'm now going to show you the help message I was talking about, if you want to take note of this, but this is really just something to give you a really good head start now for your first seven days. So here is the help message. Hi, obviously personalize it with the person's name. Can I ask a big favor? I've started my new online business and I'm just so excited to get going with it. And I was wondering if you could help me out a little bit. I've added you to my group, put the name of your group, could you possibly help me by liking or commenting on just a few items just to help me with some interaction? Also, here's a link to our catalogue. Feel free to take a look. If anything catches your eye, then just let me know. Thanks. Now, if you can keep sending this out to people and they either help you by sending, liking and commenting or even ordering from the catalogue even better. But this is something I would recommend sending to, to real friends. So this is not just to anyone on your Facebook. This is your genuine friends, your genuine people you speak to on a regular basis, um, or you know, people that you really think would help you. Okay. So that's it from me now. And I hope that this has all um, been useful for you to give you some um, tips to get you off to a really good start now with, with your business. Thank you.